Hey, can anyone else believe that this has been single for three years? Three years! I wanted to tell you about some experiences that I've had. I originally had this plan where I was gonna write a book, but then I got to thinking, you don't like writing. Frickin' suck at writing. So I thought I would make a few videos about it. Now I've met a lot of dudes, okay? A lot. I've met some in person, out and about. I've also met some guys online. Now this story I'm gonna tell you about is a combo of both. So it all started in the summertime. My friend told me about the Adidas do-over party and I was like, what? A party in the daytime with a bunch of hipsters and drinking sangrias out of carafe? Sign me up! My girlfriend and I went for our very first do-over party. I kind of saw like from across the way, I was like, <gasps> and all these people sort of parted. I saw this man kind of like drift towards me. Aww. So I decided to two-step over. I did the old, hi. And he was like, so what's up? You single? <laughs> Yes. So we decided to, you know, exchange Facebooks. And then later that night I got home and I had a few sangrias. I needed to get out my iPhone and do a little messaging. Yeah, so it was great meeting you today at Do Over. Um, you wanna go out for dinner sometime? At least that's the way I hope that he read it. He wrote back, yeah, I'd love to go to dinner. You know, it was great meeting you too. Let's do that later this week. And I'm like, okay, perfect, here's my number. So I was sitting there all like all week long, waiting, waiting, and waiting for a text and I didn't get it. So then he hits me up like maybe a week and a half later and I was like, hey, shoot, God, girl, we still need to do that dinner. And I'm like, yeah, we do, don't we? Is it gonna happen? So he's like, yeah, let's, you know, this week. This, girl, this week we are gonna do dinner. Put it down. So then of course I put it down. I went shopping for a new dress and stuff and he never texted or called, whatever. Maybe like a month and a half later, <laughs> I'm on Match.com. And at the very top of my Match.com profile, it shows me like men that I should be compatible with. And who did I see but John? The guy that I met a do-over. And I was like, mm-mm, we are not compatible, okay? I just went about my business and continued looking at Asian doctors, like I usually do. And a few days later, I get a wink, John from do-over. So I clicked on John's profile. He had a child saying that he just moved here from Indiana. And I was like, what? This is John in the picture, but this is not John that I met a do-over. He had a twin brother. <laughs> looked identical to this guy. This can't be real, right? So I uh, decide to wink back. I mean, this is John's identical twin brother that just moved here and is just as sexy as John. I gave him my number. You do that, right? It's on the phone and we were at, I asked him what he was had plans for for Halloween. He was saying that he was going to a radio station party, your radio station party. And I was like, you are? And I said, who are you going with? And then he said, my brother. And I was like, oh my God, I'll probably tell him before him and his brother show up and then they see me and then they're like, hey, how do you know her? How do you know her? Oh my God, what's going on here? If I'm gonna be having to go to this radio station party, I was going as Honey Boo Boo. So I was like, I gotta be the sexiest Honey Boo Boo in the Halloween party. I even went out and bought a new pair of Spanx, okay? So I'm all like up in the party looking all sexy in my honey boo boo costume. And then I saw them, the twin brother. And of course, I had to go up to one that I had the drink with and give him a little hug, right? Hey baby, <laughs> I'm honey boo boo tonight. This is crazy. Oh, what's up girl? I'm good. Where's your brother that stood me up? He's over at the bar. Honey boo boo. Isn't this funny? I'm honey boo boo. You know? Red neck and eyes. Oh yeah, yeah, I get it, cool. Hey, hey, I heard you went out to drink with my brother this week, right? Yeah, I thought it was you. He laughed and then I was like, sucker. Why did I feel like it was the joke on them when really it probably was on me? I don't know, but it was definitely a good night and I'm glad it didn't work out with either of those guys, but good luck to ya.